Oh, good. Oh, God be praised and blessed. Hopefully it'll work the first time. Uh, today, this uh, coming Sunday is the uh, 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time, uh, the weekend of October the 3rd and 4th. Uh, so we look forward to, first of all, first reading from uh, Genesis uh, chapter 2, verses 18 to 24. This is really a favorite, uh, one of the favorite readings. It's chosen for uh, marriages. Uh, the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. The Lord God, uh, this, uh, going down a little bit further, the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. While he was asleep, he took, took out one of his ribs. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. And uh, this one at last is bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman. And out of her, out of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. It is a, it's beautifully done. Uh, really giving a sense of the oneness that uh, the married couple should be. Now, when the church puts together the three readings, I always see it is to build a lesson. The reading should indicate um, a certain woven tapestry and to uh, build together a theme uh, build to, uh, so that something is being taught together. So it's not just three separate readings, but a, a really a th one idea. Building the family of God here on earth is what I see the theme as. That the Lord God is forming a firm foundation for the family and the husband and wife as father and mother. We go on to the gospel reading. The Pharisees approach Jesus. Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? And Jesus replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce uh, and dismiss her. Because of the hardness of, of your hearts, he wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. There. The idea here, of course, is that the, uh, the bond of a family is, first of all, the, the bond of God, the bond that God shows of love between the husband and wife, that uh, this force of love, this force of God joining the two together has to be the uh, underlying foundation of the family. And then from that foundation, he brings in the children. Let the children come to me for the long of the gospel. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. He sees the children as being the, uh, having the potential for holiness. And that foundation of the family, being the mother and the father, uh, helps to build the children into uh, into holy children, the holy brothers and sisters, holy uh, uh, little ones, and to help grow them and turn into a holy mother and father for children in the future. Anyone, whoever does not accept the kingdom of heaven like a child, will not enter into it. The child has that simplicity. 
to accept this uh, what is there the child has that simplicity to accept the rule of God in his heart and we should have the same thing um, then going on to the third reading, or rather second reading, or third one in this development of the lesson. We become his brothers. At that last sentence there. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Well, it's humanity. They, uh, therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers. We are brothers with Jesus. He makes us members of God's family. We are brothers with Jesus, able to call God our Father. Brothers in the uh, that wonderful challenge, and the wonderful development and holiness uh, on our well as a, on our way as a pilgrim people to heaven. And the dear Lord build us day after day into his holy people, the family of God.